2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, I'm ready to get stuck into it, so let's go right into this opening hole. It's an easy opening, but in saying that, if you get a little bit out of position here at the first par 5, 560 yards, uh, you're in a world of hurt. You have out-of-bounds left that sneaks into you a little bit quicker, bunkers down the fairway that you want no part of. All in all, if you walk off of this hole with a 5, you're really not disappointed. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Time for the second shot into the first. Mm, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Outstanding approach shot. Just six feet between here and the hole. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Absolutely. Love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. We have a par four on this one. We love the birdies with big wings. Celebrate your eagle, but let's go and make a couple more. Wow. He let the big dog eat on that one. Woof. Second shot on the second. Come on, get down. Not bad. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. I got a pretty good look at this uh, just now. Looks like around 36 feet to the hole. Good look at a birdie here. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Oh, well hold. Let's move on. Currently in first position. The Copperhead course at Innisbrook can really bite you, especially if you're slightly wayward, and there's one of those holes right here at the third, Rich. Decisions to be made. The fairway narrows up should you take driver out, also the water on the right, so players more than likely laying back with some kind of fairway wood. This one should find the rough. This shot is about 140 yards out. This looks to be heading to the green. Wow, what a shot. Absolutely, in there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Just didn't drop. Four feet to the cup. Yeah, good putt, well hold. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. We're at the par three here. I love these holes. a boy. Good shot. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, guys, I'm down on the fifth hole. This is Kevin Kisner. This is their fifth shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? A chance to get to three under with this putt. That was a gallant attempt. And this putt coming up for his par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. At minus two, going along nicely today. 
Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. That was absolutely murdered. Rich, this Larry Packer designed back in 1974 is a par 71, but it's over 7,200 yards just outside of Tampa. Strong course. Oh, it's it's really strong. I got to say, this golf course, there's no let up in it. Every hole makes you think. It's relentless. Thankfully, there is a steakhouse just off the 18th Street Packard Steakhouse. I had a steak in there last night, a big bone in ribeye. Oh, my goodness gracious. It was glorious. But, anyways, back to the golf course, really difficult. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And with that, he'll move to three under par. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? OK, let's get back to the action. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, guys, the ball ended up getting down into that rough pretty good. They're going to have to do a lot of work to get it out of this first cut. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. A seven footer right here. Just go ahead and tap that one in. And down it goes. Still in the lead now after that hole. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Well, there's a wild ride. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Ooh. This next putt is for bogey. And there it is. Leading by a shot after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Looking to bounce back after that bogey at the last. That wasn't pretty. Hopefully this one is better. A little off the target with that one. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Oh, so close. This is a bogey putt coming up. Back to back bogeys is never nice, but in she goes. And making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Let's pick up the action at the ninth hole. And about 130 yards to the pin. Going with the 9-iron, I think. And after this hole, that's how it looks. We've arrived at a par-4 hole. Ah. 
absolutely tattooed that one. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Oh, looked like they hinged in that stroke. Five feet coming up to the cup. Never mind. Just go and make the next one you stand over. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And with that, he moves up to even par. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Well, I like the look of the line here. We should find the fairway. Here we are, Rich, a wonderful opportunity on the table. The chance to go back to back, just how big would that be? Obviously massive, but I'm very impressed. They've put themselves in a position to win for the second week in a row. Impressive. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. I don't mind the look of this. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And that will take him to one under. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Teeing off here at the 11th. Oh, that is crushed. It's heading into the rough, I think. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Playing their fifth shot. Ooh. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. That was sensational, Luke. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, almost went in. Well, it's just about three feet away. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to two under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Mm -hmm. A thing of beauty. That'll work, that's fine. Always nice to hold those for birdie. And that will take him to three under. And now that finds him in first place. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. Wow, what a shot. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, I'm down on hole number 14. This is Kevin Kisner's next shot. Time for the fifth shot. Let's return to live play now. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Okay, 
Steady now. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. drop. Well done. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. This one might roll into the rough. A few shots under par at the moment. Currently in the lead. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Ooh, right by the hole. And this one is for his par. Well done. There's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Going with the five wood. Come on, sit. Well, that's a handy shot. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. And the player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Setting up here with a very long putt. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt from that distance. Shame it didn't drop. And now at three under, with those finishing holes remaining, you can take it deep here. With just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. Leading by a couple after that hole. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Well, as you enter the dreaded snake pit here at Innisbrook's Copperhead Course, Rich, you know where you stand on the 16th tee. This tee shot forces your hand. You must take it down the right-hand side in order to have a good look at this green for your second shot. Any misses out to the left, you're going to find the trees in all sorts of trouble. That's tiny. Playing from around 150 yards here. Going with the eight iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. And I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens in regulation, spot on all day. Awesome. Never mind. Go and tap it in. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, we're down on the 17th hole, guys. This is Kevin Kisner. Getting ready to play their third. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Oh, what a touch of class. Holes it from the sand. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. 
Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. The Copperhead's penultimate hole is a good par three play up the hill. It's a tough tee shot. Plays longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult one to find as the green is so narrow. Nicely done. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Putting for bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Currently a couple under for the round. The closing hole of Innersbrook's Copperhead course is also the final hole of the Snake Pit, and this one here has everything going against it. Lay it back, and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill, but if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. This one might need to sit. Wonderful shot into the 18th, and a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. And this putt for a final score of 69. And as that putt drops to the bottom, Rich, they are now the Valspar champion. What a performance. Yeah, what a performance. What a win. I mean, just this player was just amazing all week long. And Rich, what a performance. They've got back-to-back -back wins. What a force they're proving to be out here on tour. I got to say, this player is in full flight at the moment. Just sit back and watch how awesome they are at the moment. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich B, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.